Hey, Tate here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for Ethereum. I'll cover why we analyze with LA2 Ethereum and provide multiple scenarios to price might take and explain why I prefer one kind over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Starting here on a 15 minute time frame, and yesterday we were diving into this structure over here, and after that we had a large pump to the upside, and we'll look into that what it could be. Now, on the um, this short time frame starting from 29th of august so basically a week um we had this as a possible three-way structure into w then a b c here into wave x and now we would be looking for wave y now the original plan here was that one-to-one -one extension would be the target now that we've had this which definitely feels like a five-way move um which is not yet finished i would be looking at higher targets here because again this is so large um, that it is most likely uh, going to even take out the one-to-one -one extension here uh, with this just the first wave so i'm expecting something like this here uh, to happen um, let's take a look at the time requirements that we have um, comparing this first leg to the uh, last leg here and this would be the general idea, at least what we would be looking at. There's 618 here. Um, at this very moment, I don't think that is going to be happening. I feel like the one-to-one -one would feel and look a bit better. Um, so this would happen and then we would have some kind of three-way pullback. And even then, we could be being, making a bit further out. Uh, but yeah, anywhere between the 1.236 and 1.618 would be the targets that I have. Um, and then we could be completing something larger, this B wave here. We'll look into that in just a moment uh, after we've gone through the other option as well. Now, this was the second option in which we had this as an A, B and C. And then we were thinking about this being a possible 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, or this was a 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and this would be the 3 here. And uh, we were expecting a possible upside because again, on Bitcoin, um, I was missing at least one more one more low here. And that's why I was expecting it on Ethereum as well, but neither did give it to me. So I missed this pump completely and that happens. Um, on Ethereum, this was the area I, I was looking at. Um, basically after we took out these highs, there's no no point of uh, dreaming that this was way for anymore. Uh, it was so high already uh, that it just doesn't make sense. Now, now that we had this as a possible firewall move, and this definitely feels impulsive as well, the only solution here would be that we would get a very short firewall structure, giving us that divergence here, and then uh, we would have three-way pullback and another firewaves. But at this point, we can't take out these lows or this high, sorry, because again, at that point, we would invalidate anything that would be having this as the start, because anything that starts with five waves can't take out the start of it uh, in price. So for example, wave twos uh, or zigzags. So <clears throat> that's why I don't think this is um, that probable of a count, because again, it is generally uh, more common to have something like this that has some kind of confluence uh, with this first leg and we don't have we would have to have very short C wave here very truncated and it would have to stay below these highs of 1685 to me that is very much less likely than the first scenario had so this is again the main scenario and let's zoom out and see what this could be part of again so overall what I've got here is the uh, is the target that we had this as a five-way move into an A wave, then three-way pull back here to look for that wave B. Uh, 1.618 is really close to the golden pocket. Uh, generally, I don't really like to see that this would be a, um, a WXY that goes beyond the 1.618. If, if it does, then I feel like we might need to be looking into some other possibilities here of labeling this a bit differently. Uh, but yeah, at the moment, this still feels fine as is. Uh, 0.5 has the 1.382 and 1.236, which is again, the main targets for me at this moment. Um, we also have this high here 
as a resistance as well. Um, also liquidity most likely above these highs. Uh, same here. Um, so if we go through here, even on this five-way move, we could be just waking through these quite fast. But we'll see how it turns out. The overall expectation, however, is that in here we would be getting some kind of structure like this as a ABC, just because again, this first structure here is very impulsive looking. And then again, around these levels, or the 0 0.5, 1725 to anywhere around $1,800, I would be looking for another short possibility here. Um, and then we would be just riding this wave downwards. Now, of course, depending on how, how low this goes, um, it can become a wave one, two, three, instead of this APC, but we'll look into that uh, later on as it is not really relevant to me, at least at this very moment. But if you made it this far into the video, I would appreciate the likes. Link to my free Discord server in the description below. And for now, I thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.